Hi guys and welcome again to my channel. In this video I will show you how to create your cover letter using Overleaf website. Now we are already a bit familiar with it after we created the CV the last time. If you need any further help please leave me a comment and we'll make sure to answer as soon as possible. So before we get start I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel for more useful videos. Your support is highly appreciated guys. In today's video we will not rely on a template like the last time yes there is a lot of good uh, templates as well for the cover letter but i created one for you that has the exact format of a formal letter in germany in terms of the layout it will make a good impression on hr it shows you did your research and are aware of the local customs this is a great way to get their attention you will have a, a link in the description from where you download this uh, pdf folder where i already start all the script we need to uh, use it in the latex uh, project so once you uh, download it you select all the content of this pdf just do um, ctrl a ctrl c and you will copy all the data so now what we need to do since we already have an account you we registered the last time with google account so we will simply log in with google it, and it will open our profile you should be in the projects and what we will do is we will create a new project a blank one we can give it any name you like cover letter for example and press create after you click create you will find this simple uh, blank project simply to paste instead of this part of code of course we delete all of it and you paste here the content of the file that you will download and recompile yes perfect and these guys represent the perfect format for a letter in germany so in this example i did the exact margin and you will find here your personal data the company's data the date the subject the salutation and then the content of your cover letter which includes the first paragraph second third and fourth and then comes your uh, signature i will show you how to attach it and then the uncloser which you can choose to put it or not it's not really uh, a must here but usually you would mention in your cover letter the documents you are attaching for example a cv your degree certificate etc so usually your signature you will have it as a picture that you upload it to your project here and you use it in this field in the code exactly here you just upload the signature here give the name of the picture here and recompile and you will see your signature so let me show you an example now let's try select from computer and select this and I already used the the name and what I will do is I will simply recompile yes and that represent my signature for example and you can change the size based on the scale you can for example make it bigger by going to one and recompile or make it smaller okay so this is your cover letter guys I tried to make a clear and perfect example that you just need to come here to this text and change your personal information here and put here the company information then it comes the date will be generated automatically and you will get the date of the day then in a bold format i wrote this text which represent the subject after that we leave a big space and write the salutation dear mrs recruiter and then your paragraph starts so simply 
as this. So this is a template for a software engineer position, but you can look for the content and try to customize it as much as possible. And after the four paragraphs, you will find the signature and the enclosure, which as I said, it's not really necessary and you can simply delete this. In the end, I want to mention two small remarks. As I said, you don't need to go so deep in the latex. You just need to edit the text. But if you need to use, for example, the percent character, you will have to add before it this backslash. Otherwise, the script will consider everything after the percent as a comment. And you can see it that it is colored green. And if you recompile here, you will see that this part is removed and it stops in the 32. So whenever you want to use the percent character, just before it, you put backslash. And for example, in the personal details, make sure to leave this double backslash because it represents a new line. So these two simple remarks you need to consider while editing your text and customizing it. And for sure, when you finish filling all the text of your cover letter, you recompile and you download as PDF. And this is the result you will get. Very simple, very clean, easy to read for the recruiter. That's all for today. If you have any question, Make sure to leave a comment below. In the end, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on to not miss the next videos. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Tschüss!